It was always at night, like a werewolf, that I would take the thing out for an honest run down the coast. The Edge. There is no honest way to explain it, because the only people who really know where it is are the ones who have gone over. He was a reporter with a wild imagination. He was not afraid to express himself in sometimes shocking ways. I'm not at all embarrassed at the use of the word freak. If you're in loathing Las Vegas, it starts off like a rocket. That was a mad genius. Ralph, when he first met Hunter, he'd never done any drugs. He loses it. Hunter always had to have a running crisis. <laughs> I'm over here, I'm gonna kill somebody. Hunter saw guns as one of the great things in life. He liked the noise and the violence and the destruction. I think he was important in a literary way and also in a political way. Hunter was in Chicago, right in the midst of the gas and the beatings. I came up with the idea that he should move to Washington and become a full-time correspondent. When he showed up at the campaign, no one knew who he was until he started publishing. Then all hell broke loose. Some people will say that words like scum and rotten are wrong for objective journalism, which is true, but they miss the point. You describe me as a half-crazed Davy Crockett running around the parapets of Nixon's Alamo. I desperately wanted to put an end to that senseless war. I'm sick and tired of old men dreaming up wars for young men to die in. Hunter's pieces were a hybrid of very accurate reportage and sometimes flat-out fantasy. And ended up on the wires, a straight story. You finally said, well, you made it all up. I couldn't believe that people really believed that Muskie was eating Ibogaine. I never said he was. I said there was a rumor in Milwaukee that he was, which was true when I started the rumor in Milwaukee. <laughs> I think he captured certain truths about human perversity. I don't think that anybody can be surprised that we find ourselves in the nightmare we're in today because it's the same as the nightmare he described back then. He could have wielded a pretty effective sword against what's going on right now. He had this purity of vision. Will the real Hunter Thompson please stand up? Is I, is